Advanced Financial Accounting PowerPoint Presentation. In this presentation, we will take a look at attempts to converge to one set of global accounting standards. Get ready to account with Advanced Financial Accounting. Attempts to converge to one set of global accounting standards. When preparing financial statements of global companies, accounting firms must think about differences in accounting principles across national boundaries. So obviously, if we're a large company and we have places of business across national boundaries, then we got to think about, well, what are the accounting principles and standards in those different locations? And what are the requirements for us to prepare financial statements if doing business in you know different countries across boundaries that have different accounting standards? Differences in currencies that are used to measure the operations of companies in different countries. So again, this is something, of course, we have to think about if we're a large company, we have places of business in our company that are across different uh, different areas, different countries that have different currencies, then it's possible that we could be measuring parts of the books and whatnot in different currencies. We need to know what the standards are in different places so that we can meet those standards if we're a large company. International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS, published by the International Accounting Standards Board, ISIASB. As the name indicates, international financial reporting standards the goal here or one of the goals is to have one set of standards that will go across different areas different countries different nations which could make it easier to do business uh, in different companies or across borders so it is accepted widely the set of standards and permitted or required in over 100 countries now the FASB, which is typically going to be in charge of the standards for the U.S. was actively working with the IASB to converge their two sets of standards. So they were working together and obviously we'll talk more about the reasons why it would be nice if we can have one set of standards because obviously then we have some conformity amongst other reasons to have one set of standards. But of course at the same time it's difficult to have uh, a bunch of bunch of different countries basically agreeing <laughs> on on one set of standards. So Obviously, from, from the U.S. perspective, there's pros and cons to uh, setting up and working with one set of standards. There's going to be questions in, char in terms of, you know, who's in charge of the standards or, or do the standards benefit by the way they account for things uh, one place versus another place or questions like that or what's actually the best standard. There might be just simply disagreements on what would be the best standard to report the financial statements most fairly for the, for the end users. So in any case... You could see there are benefits to having uh, the one standard. There was a, a good push for some time moving forward to have that convergence towards uh, the one standard. It might have uh, slowed down a bit at this point in time, however. But you could see there's going to be constant pressure to, to push together to have one standard. And of course, there's going to be constant <laughs> problems uh, as, as you try to basically have one standard that will be... Will be questions about who will govern it and all, all that kind of stuff who's benefiting from the standards and what the best standards are so benefits of having a single set of globally accepted accounting standards so why would we want uh, one set of, of accounting standards why wouldn't we just want different different countries to basically make their own laws their own rules their own standards for the financial reporting well one of course is that it increases the comparability across countries improving the quality of information for users and that's going to be one of the biggest type of things. I mean, if you're the end user, you would like to be able to say, if I, whatever country we're in, we'd like to say, hey, here's a, here's a company that does this. They make, you know, they make sporting equipment or whatever. And here's another company that makes sporting equipment in another country. I'd like to be able to compare the two and, and measure them, have the pros and cons, and be able to use my statistical analysis and whatnot and measure these companies. Well, in order to do that, you need to have, you need to have kind of the same uh, tools that they made their financial statements by or it's going to be a lot more complex for you to kind of figure out uh, the, the differences between the accounting between the companies that are in different different areas so comparability uh, for end users of financial statements that are in different different countries so that investors and other people that are using financial statements creditors and whatnot typically external users to the to the uh, that are related to the companies could have quality information. So that comparability is one of the big reasons in my mind. Cost of compliance should be reduced for companies that are currently using multiple reporting frameworks. So obviously we're talking about these large companies, large companies that have that you know have to have some reporting in different countries possibly due to the laws and standards of different countries. 
if the, every country has a different law and a different standard on which the financial statements should be reported, then of course you're going to have to make adjustments so that you that you can comply with that. And you might think, well, that's not that big a deal, but it kind of is because <laughs> it gets complicated. Like if I mean, if if it, obviously if if people have probably worked in a situation, you might think of of working in a situation where you do your your financial statements and then you have to basically do the books def differently for taxes possibly you know many people have experienced that different depreciation schedules different you know sets of you know accounting rules possibly for tax tax rules for the taxes versus the accounting and it can get fairly complex even if you're just changing one thing like you know the this the rate of depreciation and whatnot to to make those adjustments so obviously if you gotta if you do that again for you know other countries and whatnot and have segments of your organization that are in other countries possibly and then have to do a different accounting standards for uh, different uh, segments of the organization under different different rules then that can be complex and of course costly should benefit global capital markets so this should be a benefit to global global capital markets because again you, you have that more consistency there should improve access to capital in global markets as well and so markets overall, the theory would be obviously if everybody could agree on standards and implement standards and, and not, uh, you know, be OK with who's in charge of who's making the standards and feel like they're not biased towards, you know, one place or another place and whatnot. And, and we all were in agreement on the standards and had one set of standards. You would think then business overall economics would then increase because we would have you know, less barriers, less cost and, and whatnot, and more transparency, more information for everybody. So that, uh, so you would think that would increase the, um, just the market activity in general.